Virgo, this is what happened in the next 48 hours for August the 28th through August the 29th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for August the 28th through August the 29th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for August the 28th through August the 29th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for August the 28th through August the 29th, 2024. Show me. Happy birthday, Virgo. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Virgo, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmoralmajesty at gmail.com. Virgo, these are your cards, honey. So, Virgo, you have yourself, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in an institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So, Virgo, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Virgo. What about Virgo? What about Virgo? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Virgo. It is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest could be waiting on money. So Virgo, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship, or you're looking at your coins here. Virgo, you have the Seven of Pentacles again. What about this? Like I said, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're looking at your coins, looking at your bank account, or you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. For Virgo, clarify the Seven of Pentacles. For Virgo, clarify the Seven of Pentacles. For Virgo, it is clarified with you, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, the King of Pentacles. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. But Virgo, this is you. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Virgo. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Virgo. What about Virgo? What about Virgo? Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Virgo. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Virgo, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands. For Virgo, clarify the Knight of Wands. For Virgo, clarify the Knight of Wands. For Virgo, 
it is clarified with you virgo again again what is this virgo clarify the queen of pentacles for virgo clarify the queen of pentacles for virgo what about virgo what about virgo clarify the queen of pentacles for virgo it is clarified with the fool could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Virgo, could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey, or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool. For Virgo, clarify the fool. For Virgo, clarify the fool. For Virgo, it is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Virgo. Clarify the moon <clears throat> for Virgo. Clarify the moon for Virgo. It is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Virgo, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Now Virgo, you can tell me that you're using your intuition, that you're conflicted within about up and doing something. Someone could be rushing you to up and do something and you want to wait, you want to wait, you want to think, you want to contemplate. Virgo, it could have been a rushing and going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument, some type of drama, because the secret is coming out. Now, I don't know if the secret is coming out about them being a player or the secret is coming out about something going on with your coins that you're finding out about that is causing this drama. Hmm. Virgo, you have the fool again. Doubling up, tripling up. Like I said, it could be dealing with an Aries. But you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something. Take this leap of faith. Set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool. For Virgo, clarify the fool. For Virgo, clarify the fool. For Virgo, it is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Virgo, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness in a second chance. Or you're dealing with something in legal. Clarify judgment. For Virgo, clarify judgment. For Virgo, clarified judgment. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. And this is a Ten, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> So Virgo, you're telling me you're having a difficult time, something is burdened, something you're just wanting to release it. Now, Virgo, you can tell me it's a difficult judgment or decision to up and do something here, to just up and do something. You could be conflicted with them wanting to wait because someone is rushing you. Virgo, you can tell me that your judgment is to release this burden because they took some type of risk or chance in you guys' relationship. Some type of secret is coming out here. Virgo, you have the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, Virgo, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Clarify the two of pentacles. 
for Virgo, clarify the Two of Pentacles. For Virgo, clarify the Two of Pentacles. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. And this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Virgo, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now, Virgo, you can tell me that you're debating on whether or not to make this move. Could be some type of physical move here. Virgo, you can tell me that you're debating on whether or not you should or shouldn't just move away from the relationship or just put it behind us and let bygones be bygones and just forgive the situation. Virgo, you can tell me that you're moving out, moving on, moving away from the relationship because they were juggling. Virgo, you have the Six of Swords again doubling up in this read. Hmm. So like I said, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and let bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Six of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Six of Swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Virgo, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. Now Virgo, you could be overindulging, trying to numb out, just want to move on and get it off your mind here because there could have been some type of drama that took place here and you were burdened by the whole situation. Virgo, you can tell me that you're happy because Maybe you can finally put it behind you. Maybe you made a decision, okay, on whether or not to stay in the relationship, give forgiveness and a second chance, or actually just move away from it. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Virgo. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, my heart knows what it wants, and it's you. My heart knows what it wants, and it's you. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Virgo. And it says, so many things remind me of you. So many things remind me of you. Virgo, this is what happened in the next 48 hours for August the 28th through August the 29th. 2024 you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and follow me on tiktok twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next week peace